Now, a Chinese national who arrived in the country on Monday evening from China has been quarantined at a construction site in Kitui County. This, even after initial investigations indicated that there was nothing amiss about his health. This construction site in Mutomo area, Kitui South, has been the source of fear among residents of the area. After a Chinese national arrived at the site on Monday night, fears that might perhaps be calmed after the county's health officials stepped in. They took the temperatures for this uh, suspected uh, person and they found that uh, the, patient, the, the person had, had uh, normal temperatures and uh, he didn't have any other um, indicative uh, symptoms to show that he has uh, the, the coronavirus. Reports that the Chinese national had traveled from Wuhan, China, dismissed by the chief engineer at the site, Zheng Yun. He, he left the airport by official and the right procedure of entering and then arrived at uh, Motomo campsite at uh, 7 p.m. He was, from, uh, he was from Hebei province, not Wuhan. However, based on health guidelines, the individual will be placed under isolation for 14 days. Additionally, Dr. Richard Mudoka says measures have been put in place as a number of Chinese officials are expected at the site in a few days. At least 1,868 persons have died from the virus in China, with the latest report from the Wuhan Municipal Health Commission indicating that the director of Wuchang Hospital, Dr. Liu Ziming, was among those who died on Tuesday. But as the situation worsened, so do the lives of Kenyans in Wuhan City. A Kenyan student who spoke to us revealed they have been confined to their rooms with no chance of interacting with other people. But it's forced us to a point where now we have to really limit what we are doing and what we are using. Still on to having a meal a day. I, I got a message today from uh, my baby sister. She was crying. All she could say was, I want uh, my brother back home. Moreover, he says the comments shared by Kenyans online are disheartening. Claiming that, oh, let them just stay there. Let them stay there and die there. Let them not bring it back home. Let them sacrifice themselves for us. It's, it's draining and it's painful. The students' pleas may, however, yield very little by way of government intervention, with Kenya's ambassador to China, Sarah Serem, indicating no change in position. Kenya is very confident and grateful for the steps that China has taken, sparing no effort or resource to fight this enemy. For now, the schools in which a majority of the Kenyans are based have provided supplies to them, the students hoping that the Kenyan government will offer more than just prayers. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.